What's up, YouTube? This is Bro52, and welcome back to Legend of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I just beat the Dark Nut right there, as you guys can see. So let's go through the door. See what's up. Hey, what's up, Brub? Surprised to see me? A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even I thought that the tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time was merely a legend. Brub, you have fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all of the people in Hyrule is on your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore. Here's my last advice. Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic power against them. Hoot hoot. Don't hear what I said again. No. I will continue to watch you. Hoot. Hoot hoot hoot. Okay. So there goes my man, the owl. Oh, in the distance. My ear is hurting for some reason. And then we got this chest here, which is going to contain. The silver gauntlets. If you wore them, you would feel power in your arms. The power to lift big things with A. But these gauntlets won't fit a kid. Plus, you promised to give them to Nibiru. You should keep your word. Oh no, cutscene. Hey, where are you taking me? You let me go. You fiends, get in those minions. Bruh, get out of here now. These witches, they're using their black magic on me. Alright, so now we have to come back here as an adult to be able to use the silver gauntlet to do the second half of this dungeon, so I will be right back once I've done that. Alright, so I'm back as an adult, and let's go ahead and move this giant block with the silver gauntlets. That's awesome. That's awesome right there. Alright. And we got a similar room to the one we experienced as a child, with a, uh, Beemos in here. So we're gonna head and go ahead and destroy him so we can actually do what we need to do in this room. Oh, come on. Boosk. Okay. So we need the- oh, well, we obviously just need any projectile right here. Because... There's a switch right there. And it opens the doors. But please, I know. And we got a small key door-esque thing kind of going on again. So we got a wolf host here. Should be able to murder him pretty easily. I should be able to murder him pretty easy. There we go, one shot, wowie. This little spawn a chest on the other side, which will be the compass, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a big chest, it's the compass. It was a key, it'd be small. So. You found the compass. Good meme, okay. Anyway, so now that we've done that. We can go ahead and go to the other room across the way and get the key that we need to open the door and continue with the second half of this dungeon. Just ignore the beam this time. Because, why not? We need the hover boots. Na -na 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 -na. To get some silver keys. Some silver rupees, indeed. Actually, is what I mean. You hear that, uh, hear that? That Skultula is actually in one of these holes. It's in this this one right here, the one with the block on it. Gosh darn it. And 
I think I'm gonna stop getting skull tools just because like you need a hundred to get the last reward, and I'm nowhere near it. I'm also like like right here. Um, why? Because trap attacks don't work. Anyway, here's a smoky. Yay! Nice. Okay. Yeah, so you need 100 skull tools for the next reward, so, like, I'm nowhere near it, I'm just gonna quit here. Sorry, guys, if you wanted to see me get more skull tools. We're gonna start not getting them now. Sadly. Like, like, again. Wrecked. Thank you for the heart. So kind. Other one? Yep. Heart as well? Wow. Yeah, there are not things on this one, I believe, yeah. And there's no school tool at the top either. But there is an invisible wall master, I believe. Or something to that regard. Yeah, oh, it's a floor master, okay. I don't feel like opening up my uh master shoes form even though I'll have to right here. Um, so, yeah. There's two. There's one down the hole. There's one actually down that hole. Okay, well, he'll have fun down there for an eternity. Yep. <laughs> He's stuck down the hole. Okay. So we just gotta turn this until we get the good sound. And don't go in any of the chests that it spawns. Nope, don't open that. It is death. Just wait for the one to open the door. There it is. Okay, ignore the crap out of those chests. They are the deaths. That, that one right next to me is alive, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Although we need a small key, and to do that, we need to yump, or shall I say hover, over to this hand here. Don't fall off, of course. Play Zelda's Lullaby. It'll spawn a chest somewhere. I don't know. <sighs> oh, it's on the other hand, that's right. I'm, I'm a goof. It spawns a chest on the other hand. And I'm pretty sure, you, yeah, you can long shot over there. I'm, I'm for such certain. Alright. Not slip off. There's a small key we need. And there's a soul tool up on that one, and then the Megaton hammer on the other one. I'm not sure what that does. Uh, yeah, I need to yump off. Pretty sure the Scarecrow song is what you play up here to get across. Oh no, there's a chest there. What the heck? When that get there? Okay, well we'll do this then. It's probably just some rupees. Yeah. Main idea is it gets you over here. Megaton hammer. Yeah, yeah. Megaton hammer. Bump. Not that. Yump. Not sure what that the. Wait, what? It opened this door? Where does this door go? Oh, I believe this opens a shortcut. From, from the pond, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Oh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll cut out anything that if it's just a waste of time. Okay, yeah, it is a checkpoint, or like a little like shortcut up to this room if you if you die the next part. So that's helpful. Anyway, let's go back to what we're doing. And I need the long shot to be able to do what I need to do next, which is to get up here. 
boink. Okay. Yo, okay. Hi, Beemos. Bye, Beemos. Now we have this room with three of these nerds. Honestly, I don't know how to beat the puzzle in this one. So I just always I just always fire arrow him. So let's do that. Wrecked. Yeah, there's three of them. Sometimes they go on the walls. Hey buddy, you wanna get closer so I can see target? Hey there, friend. Dead. Oh, is it just not a puzzle? Or is there one more I'm not seeing? Oh, maybe it's the Bemis I gotta kill. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd kill Bemis. Alright, so that opened that door. I believe this is the fire that we needed to do to do that puzzle, but I didn't use it, so rip me. Um... Anyway, let's continue on. Alright. So what we need to do is we need to do exactly not that. Yeah, it's a pressure switch. And you're supposed to let him hit it and then run over. I swear. Okay, thank you. I swear if that, that, that somehow didn't work. But here is the... Whoa. There's chests on the map. What? Oh, I never saw these. I never saw these, ever. Oh, it's hearts. Oh, yeah. Can I open this one? Yeah. Secret chests! Whoa! Now, there are only one or two hearts, but it's, it's helpful. It's helpful, indeed. Okay. So let's beat the next... Um... Whatever they're called. Dark Nuts. Yeah. With my uh, big iron sword that I know he loves so much. I know you love this thing so much, bud. We've had so much fun with it in the past. With other players. Oh, three hits. Dead. Oh, it's lace. No troubles. Almost full hearts. Look at that. Anyway. Now we have the next reward up on here. Which is gonna be... Right, it's right there, of course, but... Here we go. This is an exciting one, actually. The mirror shield. The shield's polished surface can reflect light or energy. Press R to use it. Okay, so I'm actually going to end the episode here and do the last part of this dungeon in the next episode. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment. I see you guys next time. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.